Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing part two to QA with the youth. We have three new questions and we have more youth to be answering the question for today. Now here are the youth that'll be answering the question for today. Hey everyone, my name is Renetta Hanover and I'm from the Victory Tabernacle Church of God of Prophecy in Guyana. Hi, I'm Joanna McKenzie and I'm from the Lamaha Street Fellowship. Yeah. Church of God of Prophecy here in Rochester, New York. What's up, y'all? My name is Brother Joshua, and I go to Agape Love Church in Middletown, New York. Okay, guys, those are the youths I'll be answering the question for today, and we get straight to question one. Question one is, was there ever a time you felt like you weren't going to get out of what you was going through, and how did God bring you out of it? Yes, many times, and God has brought me through these times by giving me his peace, his comfort, and his strength. Yes, I did feel like I was in a very low place. I was depressed. I had suicidal thoughts. I felt like dirt. I felt like waste. And to be honest, I wasn't even looking for God. And um, I had this very huge void that I didn't know how to fill. Well, I knew how to fill it, but you know, <laughs> when you're stubborn. And then I was. It was. A, it was so much. It, it is so much. But. I told God, I said, God, I don't love you, and if I did love you, I would have kept your commandments. So basically, he's telling me that I don't love you, but I'm asking you to fix me, and <laughs> let me tell you, God fixed me. So basically, what he did was that same afternoon that we had a youth conference, the exact same words that I said to God, God, please fix me, because if I do it, I wouldn't, I'll just go back into my mess. And he fixed me. The young woman that came to me, she said, God says that he loves you and that he will fix you. And that was my first confirmation that God hears me. It was there a time where I felt like there was no way out? Yes. Um, God brought me out by this, revealing to me who he has created me to be. And I thought that, you know, if the rapture come, I'll still be here. Like that's, that, that's where my mindset was. So to answer the first question, I have definitely been in predicaments where I felt like I was never going to come out of them. I think back to a few years ago when I was battling um, some really hard depression. And I thought that the, that mindset was like really going to be my new lifestyle. And this was before I had come to know the Lord and I gave my heart to him. But he really showed me that if I did give my heart to him and if I did commit my mind and my body and everything, my whole being, if I committed that to the Lord, that he would ultimately change the situation and make those things better. And that's how he took me out of it. I gave my heart to the Lord. I turned my attention to the Lord and he just took me out of all of that. Question two, who are your spiritual mentors and how have they helped you grow? My mentor is my brother. He actually encourages me a lot in my Christian walk. He has been an amazing example to me. And he teaches me a lot of things about the church, worship, and all the things that I aspire to be. My spiritual mentor would be Sister Isel, my um, youth pastor, so Sister Isel. Um, she has motivated me. She has prayed me through every single thing. She is there and she's been so amazing um the, the point that i'm at right now is basically because sister Isel stepped up and she she really worked and persons joined her and here i am so i can confidently say that i have two spiritual mentors the first will be my pastor slash grandmother pastor jessica price and she's really helped me to grow in my relationship with the lord because she's really shown me integrity the same woman that you see who's preaching on the pulpit is the same way she is at home. And I know that integrity is just so important, uh, even in our relationship with the Lord, you know, not to be phony, not to be fake. And she's really shown me that. My second spiritual mentor is Brother Javay Ellis. I met him last year at our regional youth camp, and he has been just one of the greatest blessings to my life. He's grown to be like my big brother. And he's really been consistent with showing me how to stay, stay strong uh, throughout anything I'm going through, whether it's mental or something with my family. He's really been consistent in that. So those are my two spiritual mentors. Question three, how have your faith grown over the past few months, particularly since the spreading of COVID-19? Since COVID-19, I have been distant in the first month of being at home because I no longer had responsibilities at church. I was at home all the time, so I didn't have anything to do, and I became distant, distant and I took a lot of things for granted. But coming down into the second month at home, I picked myself back up, and I started to read my Bible again, pray again. I started to do all of these things that I love doing in the past, such as fasting and just spending time in God's presence. And now I feel like I'm closer to him than ever. I also noticed that I've been more outgoing. I've been doing things online, things that I never thought I would have done. So I think 
during this time it actually opened me up to have more confidence to do things and it also you know opened up opportunities for me to share like how I'm doing now I can say my faith has grown I've seen God I've seen God in so many ways and that uh, he is <laughs> he's so wonderful he's <laughs> he's so wonderful um I can say that I know for a fact that God hears me and every time I pray he's been showing me how much he hears me he's been showing me how much he loves me he's been keeping me he's been covering me and every single thing about and I believe that this is a time when everybody should get closer to God and he's so wonderful he's such a mighty and wonderful God and thank you for having me I would say that it's grown because you know once you get in a relationship with God you start to hear his voice and just hearing his voice and then seeing things come to pass or hearing his warnings and seeing stuff happen um, in real life, it, it has definitely it has definitely grown my faith. Um, when God tells you to do something, you know, do it. Um, my faith in the Lord has grown tremendously throughout this quarantine. And I say that because I have lived through more negativity and more pain over these last few months than I have in my entire life. This quarantine has been very difficult for me and my family. Um, but the Lord, he remains consistent. And the fact that I'm still standing, the fact that I'm still here, that I'm still alive halfway through this crazy year, um, it just shows me how good he is. And it just increases my faith because I know that if he's kept me through this, he can keep me through anything. Okay, guys, that's it for the videos. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for just coming back each and every week to be watching these videos. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and share this video with whoever you think need it. That's it for the video, guys. Please like, subscribe. Peace.